Hello everybody and welcome to the Tony Sport Newsfeed. Today I'm really proud and happy to talk about a new product which is um, available in our shop. It is uh, from MR33 but it was created uh, in cooperation with RC Racer and engineer Ulrich Dinger from Germany. Um, yeah and the product is right here in this uh, MR33 hard case bag and today we will talk about a little machine which you can use to check the final drive ratio of uh, RC cars right before they are hitting the track, which is yeah something pretty cool and um, something we, we never had before in, in this compact um, design. Um, as you know, it is always not easy when you are organizing a race, a racing series or whatever, uh, and you want to, to check that everybody is um, underway with the, the right gearing, the correct uh, drive ratio. Um, at a technical inspection, a lot of times it's simply uh, too time demanding and not possible to check all the cars but now that's gone that's over because with the machine you will see right now um, you will have a completely new uh, way of, of checking the final drive ratio this is the FDR checker from MR33 developed by Ulrich Dinger an amazing product and I will show you how to use it it's super easy super quick and it will change the life of clubs, racing series, and um, yeah, bigger events forever. Let's go. As I told you, you will get uh, the FDR checker in a nice MR33 hard case for uh, safe storage and transportation. And um, in the box, you will also find two uh, different wires, which you will need to to uh, yeah measure RPM or gear ratio. This is uh, the sensor, which uh, will um, be very important to to lay down on the motor to to read out all the datas and this uh, sensor you have to connect to the device here on the bottom with a simple connector and right beside the connector you can see this magnetic button which you need to connect uh, the power cable you need um, a USB adapter for for the power for the power source for the device and this uh, magnetic connector very easy to connect to the device super high-tech and super modern so a lot of fun to use and then you just have to connect uh, the USB connector to the power source and then you will see that the device will immediately power up and is now ready to measure RPM and gear ratio so once you have uh, connected the FDR checker to a power source um, yeah it's ready to to go and um, in the next step, you just have to put the uh, yeah, adapter here onto um, the front axle of the car. It is always important that you are uh, putting the adapter on a wheel which is driven by the drivetrain. So if you're running a front wheel drive car, you cannot do it in the rear. So um, this is important. And in the other step, place the sensor here onto the motor case. Um, a lot of motors, they have uh, different cases, different shapes. So you have to, to check which is the best place on your motor to, to hold uh, the sensor on and then you will see if uh, the device can, can read out the values or not. Um, yeah, and then it's time to, to switch on the car and um, you have to, uh, to, to accelerate on, on your radio, which is something uh, in, a, in a technical inspection I would recommend you to, to let the driver do by themselves. And uh, you can tell them that it is not necessary to, to go full throttle all the way during, during the measuring process, but 50% uh, or whatever, and they should hold uh, the trigger constantly at the same uh, level. And then you can easily read out um, the overall gear ratio. If you like to check um, RPM limiters and stuff like that, we will show that later on in the video. But now in the first step, it is important that you know how to place the adapter here and the sensor on the car. So now you can see when I put the sensor on the motor that uh, the device is starting to, to show me uh, the gear ratio which I'm using here in my car and it's the perfect value. I'm using a 7.32 gear ratio here for my modified car. It's a 108 spur gear with a 28 pinion at um, an internal ratio of 1.9. This is a 7.32 and it's, it, get, uh, yeah, it gets shown here absolutely perfect. And uh, this is a very easy way to show and to check the, the final drive ratio on your RC car. 
and um, yeah, it should be the, the easiest and best way to do it in the future in technical inspections. Okay, last but not least, we just want to check how to measure the RPM of your motor. Um, especially good when you have um, a speed controller with an RPM limiter. You can check that the limiter is working correctly and that the limiter is uh, limiting the motor at uh, yeah, the desired uh, RPM. But you also can check uh, the maximum RPM of your brushless motor in general. But always keep in mind, uh, do not um, go um, full throttle uh, for, for a long time without having load on the tires because this is um, sometimes a little bit dangerous for the motor. But however, if you like to, to check what the RPM says, you just need your sensor, put it on the motor, but before just switch the car on. And now watch uh, the display, you will see the different values here. When I now start um, to, to take my transmitter and accelerate, just look at the display right now. I promised in the intro, it's an amazing product, it's really great. You will get it in a very durable case. It's a product which will last for many, many, many years because the components um, we have chosen are yeah, highest quality and Ulrich put a lot of work into this product. We like to uh, say thank you to him as well at this point um, and I think and I hope that this will change um, yeah, the life of a lot of people out there. You will get um, the product with, with everything. You will get it in the hard case. There is a small manual inside. You can watch this video again. You will also get all, all the cables and sensor wires you need. And then you are ready to be the coolest guy ever in the next technical inspection to check the people's drive ratio. And um, yeah, we wish you a lot of fun with that. Thank you for watching our video today. If you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel until now, just do it. Make sure that the bell is on and we will see us in the next Tony Sport Newsfeed video. Goodbye and I wish all the guys a lot of fun with the drivetrain checker at the technical inspection.